next two years. Sorry, I hope you don't mind. I'm I'm recording for the YouTube video. Please start, but we'll continue. I'm sorry. No problem. So this is our process. This is the this is the medicine to cure the problems of life. You know, like if we went around the the panel right now and we said, tell us about the problems of life. Everyone could speak extensively about the problems of life, point by point, you name it. But Prabhupada specifically targets, he mentions something very specific about what the problem of life is. Anyone would like to take a stab at that? What is the, prob the fundamental problem of life? Or Prabhupada even says the disease of the soul. What is that? Anyone want to take a, take a stab at that? Forgetfulness. Forgetfulness of Krishna. And what is that? What's Ignorance. the consequences of that forgetfulness of Krishna? Ignorance. Ignorance. That is ignorance, yeah. Forgetfulness of Krishna. Like ignorance. You think about that word, ignore. We're ignoring Krishna. Forgetfulness of Krishna. And what happens when the soul forgets Krishna? Well, Sri Prabhupada states that the purpose of life is to understand our real position as servant of Krishna. Mm -hmm. And when we do that, what happens? What well, do we, we came to our, our uh, world in material world. We, we return to our. Sorry, say it again. Yeah, yeah uh, when we ignore uh, Krishna and we forgot about him uh we drop here in material world world it's correct yeah and when we again uh remember about krishna we have started our uh way to back home to spiritual life yeah very good all good answers anyone want to say one more thing very specifically, what's happening in the material world? It's constant suffering. Sorry? We suffer. It's a constant suffering. We believe that we uh, we find some happiness over here, but actually the material world is, is a yeah, suffering place. More exact, like constant sufferings that the soul endures in the course of its material existence, Janma Mritchage disease, again and again and again. This is called Bhavarog, the disease of the soul in the material existence, undergoing this cycle of birth and death. So this process of hearing, hearing and chanting, Hearing the sacred texts, which is what Bhakti Shastri is, it's not an academic process, right? We're not here because we want to get a, a diploma, really, no, no. We're here because we want to hear and chant. And especially hearing and chanting is potent, but it's done in the association of devotees, right? And especially its um, ability, right? I'm part of a group, and I'm accountable to the group to show up, to participate, to bring my ears, to bring my intelligence. I would like to share a confession. You know, I, I came to Krishna consciousness in 1986, and um, I was very enthusiastic, like that initial incredible enthusiasm. Okay, the host has stopped my video. Why? Well, Am I too shaky, Chandra Prabhu? No, or? no, no. It's just that uh, your effulgence is, is blowing us away. I'm kidding. It's just that you, the, the, I don't know about the others, but I, I was having a hard time hearing you. So I thought maybe there's not enough bandwidth on your side. Uh, was that, did other devotees also uh, hear Tara Prabhu interruptedly? Or is it only from my side? Uh, no, uh -huh. I, I hear him very well. Okay, so then... Yeah, Chandra Prabhu, without, uh, I think, a tad choppy. Not terrible, but a tad choppy. Okay, okay. 
because I'm just worried from my side, uh, because I'm staying at a friend's home here in Toulouse, I'm using my phone exceptionally as a, as a um, hotspot. So and as long as everyone is hearing, that's fine. But please turn on your video again, then. Yeah, so you're, you're still... a little bit choppy. Uh-huh. So I'll turn yeah. my video off. Okay. So in Initially, total enthusiasm. And, you know, I had a very busy schedule. I, I was in the ashram, and there was, a, there was a busy schedule, and there was this library of books, you know, and there was this books. And then I went through some years where, you know, I was hearing occasionally or reading occasionally, but it wasn't steady reading. And then about, I can't. Six years ago, I joined a reading group with a friend of mine, Vrisha Banu Prabhu, who lives here in Mayapur. And for practically six or about six, almost seven years, we read steadily. We read an hour to an hour and a half a day from Prabhupada's books, occasionally from other books. And sometimes we miss whatever, because there's a festival, six, six or seven years. And um, accountability. I'm, I'm part of a reading group, and therefore I'm accountable to the group to show up. And it's a very healthy accountability, you know? It's like that peer pressure, which is extremely favorable. The Sangha of the devotees. In the Sangha of the devotees, immediately we feel inspired to, um, to do the right thing. So this process of hearing, it is the, it is the medicine to cure the disease of material existence it's like magic we're letting krishna conscious sound vibration into our ears and it enters our heart and it it cures the problems of life it clears the confusion from our intelligence because actually we're always hearing something isn't it especially nowadays nowadays we're constantly being bombarded by sound vibration by by ideas by concepts by by people with strong opinions and if you think about all those people with strong opinions sometimes they get some things right but typically their initial starting point is wrong if you think about like a lot of the intelligent people that are very prominent on youtube or whatever all the different um outlets all the different media outlets they, they can be really intelligent. They can have very strong opinions about a wide range of subjects, but they never start with the correct premise. The correct premise is, I'm not this material body. I'm a soul within a body. And this material world is not my home. They never start with that premise. They always start with the premise, I am a material body. And this material world is our home. And blah, 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 right? So immediately... You know, you know, starting with a wrong conception of life. And people are ingesting that conception. And we also have a tendency to want to hear something. So we're always hearing something. So the brain is already jumbled enough. The intelligence is already corrupted and confused enough. So it's very critical to hear pure spiritual sound vibration from the unadulterated source. Mm -hmm. the Shastra, the pure literatures coming from Krishna and from the great sages. So this process of hearing is, uh, it's incredibly potent. And uh, it, it, clear, it purifies the intelligence, clarifies the purpose of life, and it gives us also pleasure from within. We, we experience pleasure because our connection with Krishna becomes solidified. So I'm very enthusiastic and grateful to have the opportunity to be part of this team and to be part of this group where we'll be going through the Shastra systematically and discussing and uh, hearing from Prabhupada and and to solve the problems of life. Because as you go through life, like when you're younger, I'm giving like a whole extent 
extensive lecture here, aren't I, Chandra? <laughs> all all right, I'll, 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 I'll cut myself off in, in exactly a minute and a half. You know, I think about life and, you know, people go through all sorts of different experiences. Some people have very challenged life, even from a very young, young age. I didn't. I had kind of a fun, fun upbringing. My high school days were kind of a blast, totally degraded, but a blast. My college days as well, very little responsibility. Life looked very hopeful, traveling around the country. And uh, now I'm 60, and I didn't have that tough of a life, but I've understood very acutely, very clearly, that uh, as Prabhupada said, this material world, it is a nasty place. That's, you know, the great Acharya who wrote so many books, you know, profound books, the scholar, you know, speaking in, in such, you know, elo elo in such a, the material world, it is a nasty place. So that's something which really, I, I think I'm coming to understand. And that's by Krishna's grace. And you know what? Uh, I don't want to come back. I really don't want to come back. And so this is the process for solving the problems of life, solving the fundamental problem, which is the process of birth and death. This is the medicine, hearing and chanting. Okay, so look forward to it. And uh, thank you all very much for participating. Look forward to getting to know everyone and hearing everyone's, you know, about everyone's background and their realizations. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Right, thank you, Tara Prabhu. Sundar Nana Prabhu. Hare Krishna, dear devotees, uh, please accept my humble obeisance close to Shri Prabhupada. Uh, well, my name is Sundar Nanda Das. Uh, I am from Zagreb, Croatia. Uh, yeah, last 33, almost 34 years, I'm trying to uh, learn and understand spiritual knowledge and also to share it with uh, my countrymen. And uh, as Tara Prabhu said, uh, it's, uh, how to say, the, the main cause of all the problems we have, even on material level, but also especially on spiritual level, is uh, ignorance. And uh, spiritual knowledge serves as a as a tool or as a uh, set to or bridge from the con conditioning uh, life to the liberated state of life. Uh, and I hope that uh, by exploring systematically teachings of Vedas presented so beautifully by Srila Prabhupada in an applicable way, uh, we will find out uh, that this knowledge is really the uh, greatest, greatest asset we can, we can get. Uh, it's on the end meant, uh, these informations which we will explore are meant to bring about a transformation of the heart, of the consciousness, from the material to the spiritual, and to give us uh, strong support in our uh, in meeting of our challenges of life uh, and yeah i'm very grateful and very hopeful uh, to grateful to be part of this group and hopeful that uh, by this systematic approach to the study of spiritual knowledge we will achieve greatest benefit uh, well i can talk much more but this is basically what's my how to say approach to the study and my message to uh, all of you who uh, show the will to, to go to, to this part. Uh, yeah, recently, just a day ago, we had a visit in our Bhakti Yoga Center of uh, Navin Nari Radha Prabhu, world famous preacher and book distributor. And we discussed this subject matter, how uh, this beautiful knowledge presented by Srila Prabhupada is uh, ever relevant uh, in uh, all places, uh, in uh, all conditions, and in all times, especially 
he's relevant to speak about this because last 40 years he's traveling around the world all continents uh, trying to to present the teachings of Srila Prabhupada and very experienced man uh, who who has experienced that wherever he goes people are meeting same challenges of of the life and people are looking forward to find the solution and spiritual knowledge is real solution for all the problems of the life in the beginning of the uh, Arjuna's discipleship uh, when Arjuna approached Krishna as disciple finally uh, Prabhupada comments that one who has a, a guru or teacher that means one who is um, connected with the spiritual knowledge uh, he can solve all the problems so uh, I hope that we will find solutions through this systematic approach. Uh, and thank you so much. I'm looking forward to get to know uh, all of you and uh, that we uh, dive deeply in uh, trying to find the, the, the nectar of spiritual knowledge. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Sundarananda Prabhu. Uh, how, how long have you been a devotee? Just for those who don't know you, how, when did you like I'm start trying, chanting? I, I, I'm sitting. I'm sincerely trying the last uh, almost 34 years. 34 years. So you've been chanting 16 rounds a day for about 34 years. Yeah. Oh, great. Um, Atul Krishna Prabhu is not with us today. Um, he has some preaching engagements, but he will record a little audio or video to upload. As you know, if you've read a little bit about him or that you saw a couple of clips where I where he speaks. He's one of the founders of the Mayapur Institute of Higher Education, the MIHE in Mayapur. Um, also very senior, became a devotee in the, if I'm not mistaken, also in the late 1980s and has been from the very beginning learning and teaching Bhakti Shastri, Bhakti Vaibhav for, for decades and decades. So we're really fortunate to have him as uh, one of our teachers. I uh, used to live in the same room as Tara Prabhu in the Los Angeles ISKCON Brahmachari Ashram. And we used to go to the Los Angeles airport primarily on a daily basis to try to distribute Prabhupada's books to the very peaceful airport goers at LAX airport. I'm being sarcastic. It was very difficult to even stop people. And we, I, I did some traveling Sankirtan also with Tara Prabhu around, um, around America, selling Prabhupada's books at rock concerts and just any venue we could find. And then I also spent some years with him during the summers on Indra Jumna Swami's Polish tour, um, which was also very fun. So I, I joined later than him. I took the Bhakti Shastri course in Philadelphia, ISKCON Philadelphia, I think in around 1996, 1997. And for a couple of years, I was teaching Bhakti Shastri with Madhavendra Puri Prabhu, who is a devotee from France. We were teaching both in English and in French, uh, but he decided to focus more on his own um, institute in France. Um, and so that's why we started a, a new batch of teachers with Atul Krishna Prabhu, Tara Prabhu, myself, Sundar Nana Prabhu. Uh, I agree. I agree fully that hearing and chanting is our is our life, is our is our uh, life giving source. Without which we would be committing way more sins and breaking a lot more regulative principles than we would be if we did not have the pillar, the strength of the Bhagavatam and of the Gita and of Rupa Goswami and Prabhupada's mercy. So I'm doing this course primarily for myself, to be honest, because I know that if I have to connect with a group of devotees on a regular basis and prepare and study and spend two hours hearing from Shastra, hearing from Prabhupada, I know that I'll um, It'll help me stay in the in the lane of, of Dharma and the lane of Krishna consciousness. I can also testify I'm part of this reading group uh, where we read the Bhagavatam and the Chaitanya Charitamrita every day, and it's very powerful. So there's really nothing more powerful to feed 
our chanting to feed our practice of the Yuga Dharma than Prabhupada's books. When we associate with Prabhupada's books, with Prabhupada himself, with Krishna himself, with the Bhagavatam himself, then we gain enthusiasm to chant our rounds, to chant our rounds, and to perform kirtan, to, to perform the Yuga Dharma, which is the means out, right, of, 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 material, of the material world and of, of material suffering in this life. So I'm also very, very honored. I'm also happy that it's an all men's group. Um, I think it's the first and only one in, in the world, which is really nice. Nothing against souls in other, you know, in women's bodies. It's just that when we are souls among men, we can be more ourselves, I think, more vulnerable, more open. And um, I really am grateful that Krishna has sent these, uh, you know, you all Prabhus. And, and I really look forward to, to delving into Prabhupada's books together and, you know, facilitating whatever hearing and chanting that we can do. And also on the practical side, and maybe this is a good segue to, uh, to end today's talk, um, you know, facilitate you Prabhus who want to actually have an official Bhakti Shastri degree, which is something that Prabhupada really did want his followers to have. And ISKCON wonderfully has this uh, Ministry of Education and, you know, Bhakta Rupa Prabhu, a Prabhupada disciple who lives in Bhubaneswar, he's the one who administers all the Bhakti Shastri diplomas um, to, to all the accredited, you know, Bhakti Shastri centers of learning around the world. And um, we just, he just sent, we, we had two students in the last batch with Madhavendra Puri Prabhu, so they just received their Bhakti Shastri degrees. And so, yeah, opening it up to you, Prabhu's, uh, perhaps before we get into sorry, practical questions, which I, I don't think you have many, but maybe all of you 10 could say a few, you know, a few sentences, you know, your names, where you're from, and, and you know, what inspires you to take the course. Huh? Could, we, could we do that, perhaps starting with um, <laughs> Prabhu Pik? I, um, we're going to get used to the names, but, but especially if you don't have your name written here and it says PK, I, I, forgive me, Prabhu. We don't hear you. Okay, so maybe while you're you're adjusting, you're finding out your 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 sound. Hare Krishna. Ah, here we go. As it now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, my name is Gopalacharya Das. I'm from Poland originally, but I at the moment live in India. South India in Salam, in Tamil Nadu. So, uh, yeah, I've, I, I basically have never gone through a very regular course study of Prabhupada's books. So this is basically my main uh, inspiration here that I would like to do that in the Association of Other Devotees to have a more regulated study and more in-depth and more organized um, and I'm also inspired by the fact that it is men only group because it is creating certain certain uh, ambience to that, which I also appreciate having the chance to have that. And yeah, it's basically opportunity to be with devotees, study Prabhupada's books, uh, go deeper and have good association and uh, help myself, you know, to go to go deeper into Krishna consciousness. That is my hope and yeah. inspiration here. So thank you. Well, welcome, Gopalacharya Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Uh, Vitali Prabhu. Hare Krishna, dear devotees. I am uh, Vitali. Uh, I'm from Ukraine, but uh, we have moved to Switzerland. Now we are living uh, near to Zurich, and around 20 kilometers uh, from uh, Temple. And uh, I came to our society uh, at, in uh, 2010, and I have done. I had done uh, some part of uh, Bhakti Shastri course, so like uh, only Bhagavad Gita. And and now 
uh, actually I uh, I always dreamed about uh, course like this remotely and we will keep in touch and so uh, for two years it's amazing you know and uh, yeah I'm really grateful to uh, that possibility thank you uh, every person who's uh, organized uh, the course and thank you devotees and uh, I want to uh, say, uh, can you give me like uh, some blessings uh, for never give up and complete that course? And yeah, I I always need a uh, blessing from devotees, if you can. <laughs> so. That's Being very blessed. kind of you. Hare Krishna. <laughs> um, <laughs> M M Maduha Prabhu or Marvin. Hare Krishna. Yeah, my, I, I think it's Shilohim Marvin. Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhu, thank you for allowing me to be with all of you. My name is Maduha Das. Um, what can I say about me? Well, I was initiated back in 1981 and 1982 in Miami, Florida. Um, I was a member of the Miami Temple Board of Directors for many years. Mm, what else? I don't know. Uh, I got a degree, I guess, in electrical engineering. Uh, I'm a retired now, I'm retired. I retired a couple of years ago. So I guess, uh, have the chance now of, of the opportunities that Prabhu Chandrasekhara Prabhu gave me to be a part of this of this uh, nice group of devotees who are very knowledgeable in Krishna consciousness. I hope that I can learn something. I hope that I can strengthen my my knowledge in Krishna consciousness. Uh, even though. I read a lot. I read every day. <laughs> Shila Prabhupada's books. And I actually have a, a Natma Media program on Facebook. So I don't know. All I know is that I don't know anything. And I hope that you guys can teach me and make me realize what the importance of life is in this material world and see how I get out of, out of here as soon as possible. So, I don't know. Thank you. I want to thank you very much for being a part of you. I've never been a part of so many Vaishnavas online, virtual classes online, but I hope that I can take advantage of this opportunity and, I don't know, become Krishna conscious, I guess. And I'm going to try the best I can to understand the method of teaching and the method of learning and understanding through the eyes of Shastra what it's all about Krishna consciousness. And of course, I know that many of us, we can see, like Prabhupada says, we can see Shastra from many angles of view. Uh, so this will be my first opportunity to see Shastra through the eyes of all of you and your everyday experience as devotees of Krishna. What made me keep, what made me, uh, hold on, Henry, let me see what can I say. Um, for some reason or another, Many of the people that I know around me have been passing away quickly. And I just remember a verse from verse from Bhagavad Gita that says, Jatasya hi druvo mitur, druvo jang mamitasya cha, tasmat parye parye arte, natum sachitum arhasi. Because everybody that, that is born has to die. So, Every, every time that I go to one of these places where uh, we're saying goodbye to the people that have been with us, with us for a while in this material world, 
is only things uh, make me think that yeah, we're gonna have to leave this place. So what better way of living in the light of Krishna? So we're getting older. I'm just like Tara. I think I met Tara Prabhu uh, at least. I live in, I used to live in Los Angeles for about ten years. Uh, back from nineteen when did I live in Los Angeles? From nineteen eighty four, five, six, seven, eight to ninety two. So I think I I probably seen some of you. I think I, I'm sure about Tara. I think I I I I've seen him before. I think in Miami too, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but I'm living in Miami right now. I've been living in Miami for um, the last 26 years. And, uh, well, I don't know. So thank you very much. Anyway, thank you, Prabhu Chandrasekara. Thank you, everybody, for allowing me to be here. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhu. So, Nitai Prasad Prabhu, a few words from you. Hare Krishna. My pranams to all the devotees, special Dandavat pranams to the teachers. You have created such a good fortune for us. You are going to hear from the mouths of pure devotees, taking your association, association of all the devotees a long time. So, um, so um, I'm, we are living here in Gibraltar, which is the southern tip of Europe, um, uh, with border with Spain. It's uh, myself, Nitya Prashad Das, my wife, uh, Tulsi Manjiri Devi Dasi, brought up, uh, brought up in Kolkata. Two children. Uh, one is a four-year-old. I have two daughters, actually. A four-year-old daughter and a, a one-and-a-half-year-old daughter as well. Um, my mother, Minati Devi Dasi. We are all disciples of uh, His Holiness, Bhakti Chau Swami Maharaj. And... Uh, yeah, this is a great fortune. I'm really looking forward to it. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. Jai. Uh, Revati, Revati Kanta Prabhu, or Revati, Revati, Revati Kanta Balaram Prabhu. With a name like that, you can guess who is Revati Kanta Balaram Prabhu's spiritual master. <laughs> Hare Krishna, dear devotees. Please accept my humble obeisances at your lotus feet. Uh, I'm very thankful to His Grace Chandrasekhar Prabhu for allowing me to enter this group. I met him in Nepal uh, after the lockdown. So, actually, I'm in Riskon, Nepal for the PR relationship. And by profession, I'm a businessman. And uh, as uh, Tara Prabhu and uh, other provinces, they explained about the sufferings, and I've been suffering since last 10 years after entering into the Krishna consciousness. Before entering the Krishna consciousness, I, <laughs> my life was something different, but after entering into the Krishna consciousness, I'm suffering many times, which I'll explain maybe some other time when we are free and we are feel free to talk about my sufferings, actually. But I have learned many things into my life. And Actually, Bhakti Sastri Close is like my brother's wish, his his wish before he left his body on the Radhas to me last year. So the, the late Sachinandan Gauchandra Prabhu, disciple of his only this Jayapataka Swami Guru Maharaj. So he was uh, forcing me to take Bhakti Sastri for a longer period of time. And like uh, he was, uh, he also taught me many things in uh, regarding the Bhakti Sastri Course. But I have no time for all this. And uh, but this is a good platform because uh, my timings over here is uh, in evening seven to nine in Nepal. So I think this is the best time I can like uh, take courses and learn from the, all the Vaishnav devotees over here. And uh, what else? I, what else to speak? I'm so thankful to be here. And uh, please forgive me if like if I miss I miss some classes because like soon we'll be going to the Mayapur Yatra also from the Swan Management team. But uh, hopefully we can have some recordings in the group and uh, I can cover up. And similarly, as other devotees said that we need the blessing. So even yes, without the blessing of a devotee, we cannot go anywhere at any circumstances. Thank you. Seeking your blessings. Hare Krishna. Dandavat Prana. Hare Krishna. 
So when you when you visit Mayapur, Prabhu, you you look me up and uh, we sit together during the Bhakti Shastri session. Yeah, sure. I'll be I'll be on Mayapur on twenty twenty first uh, morning. I'll be there with sixty four people. October twenty first. Yes, October twenty first. Okay, so let's exchange WhatsApp numbers, and when you come, you visit me for sure. Sure, thank you so much. Anything if I could get from Nepal, please let me know. Jai. Vidur Hare Kumar, Krishna. thank you, Rivati Kanta Balaram Prabhu. Vidur Kumar Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu, Denver Pranam. Uh, I'm so fortunate to be part of this group. And I was like, I was finding it was so hard for me to find time for regularly reading. Like I am final year medical student in, here in Rishike, studying Ayurveda. So due to my like busy schedule and after coming from the college, I I I was I used to be very lazy. So, so this, I just really want to be the part of it. And, and like, I was waiting for something to come, like, like to be so that I can be regular. So I, I am connected to Skon Rishikesh temple, but unfortunately I cannot visit. I am not able to visit Rishikesh temple every day. I used to visit Rishikesh temple in, on Sundays. So... So my father, my father is initiated from His Holiness Ramabhad Swami Maharaj, uh, and I hope uh, I will be able to like regularly join this class and like deep dive deep down into Srila Prabhupada books. Thank you very much. Thank you, Prabhuji, for letting me speak. Jai, Vidur Kumar Prabhu. So we have um, Rahul Piplani Prabhu. I forgot your initiated name. Forgive me. Uh, hi, Krishna. I'm Sachidul Lal Das. Uh, yeah, thank Sachi you, Prabhu. Prabhu. Yes. And Jardim uh, Namara. I should have used that uh, name. So I feel very honored to be part of the group. Um, I was born in Punjab, but as they say, Brahmanda Brahmita Kona Bhagya Vanji Guru Krishna Prasadi Pai Bhakti Lata Beej. So I have been wandering uh, Southeast Asia. Right now I am near Nepal, uh, Sikkim from the past two years. So anyways, uh, uh, I feel very blessed to be part of the group and uh, going to have more mercy. I was you know, thinking uh, spiritual, it's so loving culture. Everybody is trying to make money, being shudras. It's just a rat race for money, but here I am amongst sincere Brahmanical Vaishnavas dedicated to study of literature. So I feel hopeful that I can also become more Brahmanical. And uh, it said, Love Matra Sadhu Sangha Sarva Siddhi Hoy. So it's not going to be just a moment, it's going to be two hours per week. And for the next two years, it's a big blessing. Um, so, yeah, I'm feeling very grateful. And uh, it said that lolium greed is the price for um, Srimad Bhagavatam. Like the price of pay faith, we pay for the holy names. If you have faith, you, you get more mercy from holy names. So I will get more faith also. Shastrik, uh, you know, Shraddha, it said it will uh, give me faith in Krishna more. And then I can access holy names also more, which is the Yuga Dharma. And uh, I hope I can um, be a good student and learn from uh, all the respected teachers and also from the audience, other students. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Prabhu. So we have uh, Lihar Sarkar Ji. And then two more. Uh, we can't hear you. Your microphone is perhaps not connected well. Oh, we don't hear you. 
so so Hare Krishna Prabhu now yes now we hear you so first of all I thank you Prabhu for uh, take me into the Bhakti Shastri I know I bother you so much please forgive me for this I am Askaliya Sarkar from Bangladesh and uh, I'm very thankful to you and all the devotees forgive me if I do something wrong or means my English is not so good because I'm I'm very nervous thank you Prabhu Hare Krishna Hare Krishna uh, we have our one and only um as far as the students, you know, uh, American Vaishnava, <laughs> Blake Prabhu, from, uh, who's living in, 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 are you in Denver or are you in Tucson? I forgot now. I'm in Denver. Okay. So Blake Prabhu, please introduce yourselves, yourself to us. Okay. Hello, everyone. Please accept my humble obeisances. I'm Blake uh, from Denver, and oh, I guess I just want to take the class uh, just to be a part of every, uh, be a part of the group, be more accountable, and yeah, enjoy reading the book. Um, I've been practicing Krishna consciousness for 20 years, but went went by really fast, <laughs> and I, I have I have trouble uh, being regular, so of course I want to. You know, have some more motivation to finish the assignments and participate in the class. And I guess uh, I had the experience that um, uh, spiritual practices are the only things that really make you feel uh, comforted when you're suffering, and um, they they and they're always exciting, and they always make you feel uh, like a I don't know like a some inner happiness you feel some inner happiness from uh, from chanting and from reading and yeah so i guess maybe i feel always a little guilty that i didn't uh not further along in my practice but at least uh yeah i'm just happy to 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 get a chance to be with you guys and 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 also try and you know read the books for myself um yeah i don't know what to say uh, I really love spiritual life, and I'm happy to be here. I have a small son, eight-year-old son, and I read to him. Um, recently, we, I read him a book about, uh, it was a guidebook to Gilbert on Hill with a bunch of stories. And then he, he he also told me that when I read that book to him, that he feels he feels some like uh, good feelings inside his body, he said. Mm. So I can see that uh, there's some spiritual magic even uh, uh eight-year-old is able to perceive. <laughs> Jai. Thank you, Blake Prabhu. And finally, oh, we have okay, Atavi thanks. Krishna Prabhu from Guadalajara, Mexico. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Thank you so much to everyone. It's a very nice opportunity to be here. Thank you to the teachers and all the devotees in general. And I guess the story of my life is that I, I was lucky to join a, a Yatra where the guru who was leading had a very eccentric personality and he had his own way of establishing Krishna consciousness in the Yatra. So instead of having the regular Srimad Bhagavatam class every day, what he did, he, he had us read from different Prabhupada's books all throughout the week. So we read Srimad Bhagavatam and also Bhagavad Gita, Sri Sopanishad, Nectar of Instruction, Nectar of Devotion, Prabhupada Lilamrita, Chitane Charitamrita. So it was a very nice program that we had because we kind of like got a gist of of all of Prabhupada, Prabhupada's books in a systematic way and so and also the yatra was kind of like unity and diversity because we all came from different backgrounds but we're all focused in, in distributing Prabhupada's books so we actually that's that's what we had to do we had to chant the holy name read Prabhupada's books in the association of devotees and and aside from that we also had to read uh, like two, one or two hours on our own, and then distribute Prabhupada's book. So now that I don't live in temples anymore, and, and I still am seeking the association of devotees because I, I got 
kind of like rubbed off, you know, that feeling of that taste for reading Prabhupada's books in the Association of Devotees. So I'm very grateful to all of you and, and looking forward to, to learn and to share this as well. Hare Krishna. Jai. Okay, Prabhu. So before we close, um, as you know, I, I wrote down or we wrote down the basic format to tomorrow. You'll get five or six questions regarding the reading for next Sunday. So you can do the reading at your leisure, answer the questions. As I said, from a, you know, some questions just require one word or one sentence answer somewhere a little bit more elaborated. And then you can send them to the teacher. Best probably is just to send it on the WhatsApp app or the email. I'll we'll put everybody's emails or at least Tara Prabhu, Sundar Nan Prabhu, Atul Krishna Prabhu in my email. And then you can send it by, you know, latest Saturday. So that that gives the teacher one day, 24 hours to look over the, the, the answers. Those questions will be part uh, out of those questions at the end of each module several questions from that batch and no other will be chosen as the closed book questions. So when you'll review, you'll just have to review those very questions that were asked, right? Um, and then each teacher will have his own style of teaching. As I said, some will be more like, okay, let's all read together almost like as a, as a hundred percent quote unquote egalitarian kind of system where we're just reading. And, and then some will be more inspired to give a lecture and, and, and it's, it's all good. Like, the, the, the more variety of teaching styles, the better. It's a four module course. So we'll, you know, finish Sri Shopanishad and we'll probably do either Nectar of Devotion or Nectar of Instruction or, or Bhagavad Gita. We'll discuss with the teachers which one is next. Um, and at the end of each module, there's an exam. There's some verses to be learned to memorize. In this course, I don't insist on the Sanskrit. I think unless you know you're you were born and you know sanskrit perfectly of course it's nice to know the sanskrit but what's really important in the bhakti school is to know the meaning of the verse right we're not mm -hmm. brahmins who repeat the veda you know wrote without knowing the meaning so well i'll demand is that you know or yeah expect is, is for you prabhu to know the, the the translation of the verses we'll give you the list and that's about it uh, anybody have any specific questions Okay, then we may we'll, we'll we'll adjourn then, huh? And um, Tara Prabhu, do you have any lasting last words? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay, on that good note, we'll see you next Sunday, Prabhu's. Agalur Suprabhupad. Hi, Hare Krishna. Oh, Hare.